This is example two for the sketch offsets and fillet features lesson. I've started example two with a blank inch file again using the inch part template. We're just going to go ahead and save this file in our working directory as exercise two. Now the first step to this exercise is to select the front plane and select sketch. And then we're going to use the line tool to sketch the center line of our part. Next I'll activate the dimension command and dimension my sketch. To get an angle between these two lines I simply select one line and the next line and then I can drop my dimension on an angle of 135 degrees and I can press escape and I'm going to hold control down to select my two horizontal lines and I'm going to make them equal. I'm just going to press F to fit me to the screen. Now with that geometry created I'm going to add a fillet to the corners with a two inch radius. So you can just go ahead and fill it both those lines and again you'll see I was getting that error because I was changing the length of these lines but it resolved itself once both the fillets were complete. Now I can add my offset and you'll see that uh, we're just going in one direction right now so I'm going to add a bi-directional offset and now we're going in both directions on a distance of one inch but you'll see that I'm just doing that line. Now I could either go along and select all the lines or I could simply select select chain. And what that'll do is select all the lines that are connected to each other. So this is what we want our profile to look like. I'll say accept. And now before we create our extrude, we're just going to add the little circle and add a dimension of one inch. So the sketch is now complete. We can go ahead and add a feature. It's a boss extrude. We want to create a midplane extrude at a distance of one inch. We can accept that. Now, again on the front plane, we're going to create a sketch. And we want to look normal too. And we're going to add a circle at the bottom. Now I'll press escape to get out of my circle command. I'm going to hold control down. And instead of relating this circle to another object in this sketch, I'm going to relate this circle to the edge of the circle from my previous feature. And I can still, as you can see, add my equal relationship. And now we'll add a feature. It's a boss extrude. We want to go mid-plane and we're going to go two inches and accept those settings. Now we're relate. Now we're ready to add our recess, so I'm going to select the front face there and select sketch and again normal too. I'll select my offset command and in this case we don't want a bi-directional offset, we just want it to go in one direction. We want it to go 3 eighths of an inch, but we don't want it to go out, we want it to go in, so I'm going to select reverse and then because I'm going to add two more offsets to this circle and this circle, I'm going to select my Keep Visible tab. So when this offset is complete, the offset window is still open and I can go ahead and select the circle. And you can see that as I move my cursor to the, either the inside or the outside of the profile, this little arrow changes to change the direction of my offset. So I'm going to simply hold my cursor on the outside of the profile and drop and again select this circle outside of the profile and drop. And that continued to work because I had my offset command kept active. Now that I'm complete I can simply accept. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my trim tool and we're going to simply use the trim to closest again I find it the easiest to use and let's just snap away at the objects we don't need. Our last step is just to add some nice little fillets in the corners there, so I'll activate the fillet command. I'm just going to do a little 
one eighth fillet. To round the inside of that off. And our sketch is now complete. So we can go ahead and create a feature. I'm gonna get out of my fillet command. So we'll create a feature and a cut extrude. We obviously don't want to go the whole way through our part. We just want to go in an eighth of an inch on this side. So it's rather shallow. Sorry, this side is supposed to be a quarter of an inch. So we're going to go in a quarter of an inch on this side and select OK. And then we need to add our cut to the other side. So I'm going to select the other side, select Sketch. And this time, instead of redrawing all that geometry, I'm simply going to select the face that I want to convert and then select Convert Entities. And you'll see that I've recreated that sketch on my new face. And on this side I'm going to create a feature. It's a cut extrude. And instead of going an eighth this time, I'm going to go three eighths of an inch. And accept that. So now we've got all our base geometry completed. We simply have to add our fillets. To do so we'll select Features and Fillet. I have a one eighth fillet, and we can select that face, and it'll automatically fill it all of the edges of that face. So I'm going to again do that on this side. I will select one of these edges, and tangent propagation will catch all of that. I'll select one of the outside edges, and again, tangent propagation will take care of things. Do the same thing over on this side. It gets a little harder to see as you continue to have fillets taking place. You could change the preview to a partial preview, but I prefer to use a full preview so you can see what's going on. And once that's complete, let's select OK. And we have now completed all our fillets for the part. And that concludes exercise two.